So right now we're going to do a 360, well this is a, a 360 Slim. Yeah. Generation of, first generation of Slim. There's a new one out. But. And then here's the one. So let's back it up a little. Clearly, they're bigger, but also clearly this has more, obviously, power. So it's going to... You know, it's gonna be a little bit bigger than this. Yeah, I'm sure in a couple of years they'll have a nice Xbox. Oh, yeah, of course. course, of course. Let's see um the the thickness compared. Okay, so we're dealing with with a monster on on this guy. Right, to to see it side by side standing. Oh, sorry. No, that's cool. We're good. So yeah, now the Xbox 360 controller and the Xbox One controller. Just to let's see, let's see look. Um, size wise, they're actually very, actually very similar. If you put them on the white carpet, let's see. This is the 360 controller on the bottom, and then the one is directly on top. The Xbox One controller looks a little wider, maybe. A little wider. I feel like because of this this extra piece that juts little, out makes it a little bit a little tall, taller, like taller. So standing up wise. And the battery pack it's is now tall. flat oh, yeah. against the... So on the back is very different. So now you have the, the battery pack here, and now this one is just flat, and the triggers are different. Yes, once I stop having technical difficulties. The triggers are, are very These different. are a little, it's a little fatter, which is, is good because it gives you a better kind of range of yeah. where you can pull the trigger. These are also kind of a little bit wider, the uh, LB and RB. Um, the guide buttons are also different. Take a look. Kind of lights up green. This is this white. white. And it's just one. Yeah, and it's just, this stays lit, lit up, whereas this, if the console was on, would just go to the player one. Whatever player you now play. These is. buttons are different, right? Yeah, this is a. Um, I mean, they function the same way as the the start and back buttons. Um, this is basically brings up like a menu of things you can do. Uh, like you can pin, like even hit this button on the dashboard, you can kind of pin up certain apps to the uh, the pins section. This brings up like a list of the apps that you have, but um, really they basically still function as a start and back button. In game, at least, that's really the most important feature. Turn this off. Here. Right, cool. And what about uh, clicking in? The, is it the same? Oh, actually, yeah. It's, it's these the joysticks clicking. These I feel like these click a little louder. Um, but um, these joysticks definitely feel a lot uh, a lot looser, or I should say more precise. It has it has a lot of um, it, I, I can't really explain it. It just it, it feels less uh, like there's no really dead zone here. Just kind of it really. It's very fluid. It's fluid. It moves where you want to. Um, the my other controller actually the the left bumper and right bumper click really loud, but um, the D-pad was a big issue. Um, but yeah, this one clicks fine. But um, the D-pad was a big issue for people. They didn't like the way it was kind of raised and. It was it really right. difficult to kind of, you know, yeah. kind of move. Now you just now press you just, it in, right? Still not perfect, but it, you know, it, it goes in the, the direction that you know you're you're pressing, mm. and you can both, you know, um, you know, it's I, I'd say probably the, the PS4's D-pad's definitely better, but um, yeah. you know, it's it does it does the job. You really want to focus on these anyway, unless you're playing an arcade yeah. fighter. It has a feel in your hand. Where is it very comfortable? It's definitely. Uh, Ergonomically better. Good word. Good word. I may have miss. I may have pronounced it wrong, but I don't it, even know what it means. So. It feels better. Yeah. It it kind of it gives you more room to kind of to kind of grab. Like if it's just laying down, um, the the buttons are kind of closer together. So if you're at like a position like this, you can jump to the face buttons. I'm kind of just actually reiterating what Microsoft says. Okay. Kind of showing all the improvements there. The triggers have rumble motors. The uh. The inputs to plug the it's controllers a, in a little bit. It's different. a micro USB for this. Um, the cool thing is, I, I don't know if it's a separate cable that they're going to sell or, or it's the play and charge cable, but if you plug this controller with the micro USB into the console, um, it, it functions as a wireless controller. The, the radio 
kind of shuts off and everything goes directly through the controller. So you don't have to. So for kids who like to do like uh, competitive gaming, sorry, uh, if you want your your wired controllers, um, you just need that cable and you can turn the wireless. Which even as a wireless controller, it feels like there's little to no latency. Um, but you can make it a wired controller. So that's a cool little feature that um, they implemented. Because I, I I like to have a wired controller too. So. All right, cool. One more time. Put the controller next to the the console.